Hello, and welcome to the Madniverse. Today we're going to further explore Bendy and the Ink Machine. In the first episode, we had a hard time trying to find the six objects, but we found them all. Had trouble figuring out that E was for interact when I was holding the axe. To open a door that I stayed in front of for like five minutes. Until I found that out. But, we got chapter two now, so... We still got three more, but I'm not sure when they're going to come out. But, let's head to chapter two. Okay, remember that E to interact. That will help. Uh, I can't believe I didn't see that. Oh. oh my head. What happened? Apparently a lot when you're passed out, because we're back under here again. Right where that uh, nice little symbol on the floor is. Press on. See if I can find a way out. Mm-hmm. Find a new exit. Because apparently this one is a no-go. Alrighty then. Well, at least they didn't put me in that. I guess we're going through this way. Yep. Yep. There we are. Utility shaft. Nine. We will set us, or he will set us free. Oh, goody. Is this where the whole How this scares? So big? I don't know. Oh, found another one. Appears from the shadows to rain his sweet blessings upon me. <clears throat> the figure of ink that shines in the darkness. I see you, my savior. I pray you hear me. Those old songs. Yes, I still sing them. For I know you are coming to save me, and I will be swept into your final loving embrace. But love requires sacrifice. Can I get an amen? <laughs> no, you cannot. I've never said, heard that before. Can I get an amen? What the f what? Who the hell just said that? Well, I told you no already, so no, you still can't get that. Thanks for the ink, I think. Not sure what that's for. Or why I'm taking it and it sounds like I'm swallowing the crap out of it. Oh. Wow. Hi. You said that? Oh, not anymore you didn't. <laughs> Whoops. Um. Oh. Well. Um. I guess here we go. This doesn't feel safe at all. Hello. Excuse me, can you help me? Hello? Are you the one who wanted that amen? Where the hell did he go? Yeah, that's what I figured. Apparently he can walk through these, I guess. Teleportation. Holy crap, that's a lot of ink. Oh, it's bacon soup. Oh. Brian Briar label. Breaking soup. Okay. Well, we know where the soup is if I need it. The heck? I need to get power um. to this gate somehow. There should be a couple switches nearby. Then maybe I can open it. What the? I smashed you. How'd you come back? I guess. Uh, I guess I gotta find the switches now. Smash you again. Oh, uh, did it... Okay, I was about to say, did it get dark over there? But no, I guess not. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Just start chopping. Be ready. Mm. Um... Can't... Nope, can't open those. Um... I'm not sure where these switches are. I said that they were nearby, but I didn't see anything. Is there one up here? How far is nearby? Oh, well, nothing there. Can't open any of that. Hmm. It's definitely down here, though. But where? 
I didn't see another path to go. Maybe there was. Because there's no switches down here. None whatsoever. Guess I'll try it again. <coughs> Maybe there was a switch over here and I just didn't see it. <laughs> Oof. I'll cough you lately. <clears throat> um, do I smash stuff to find it? Is that what, what do I do with this? I don't get what's going on here. Oh boy. Am I going to be lost again because I can't figure this out? Am I supposed to eat all this bacon soup? Is that why it's here? I don't know. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I have no clue whatsoever. I can't get the gate open. He's talking about switches that I don't see. I see some keys in there. Can't pick them up. There's a note too, but I can't pick that up either. Um... Not sure if this is the best idea, but oh, found one. Okay, well, apparently that was supposed to do it for that one. Okay, we found one. Two more to go. I guess we're heading back. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if it was a good idea to all that eat all that bacon soup, but apparently he ate all of it. <laughs> Every last drop, so... I guess he was hungry. Nothing here, though. But there. Nope. Nothing. Here? Nope. Nothing. Well, the problem with the switches are... Is that they kind of blend in with the background. Some of them are hard to find. They just seem to be behind the boards for the most part. Guess we'll head back up here. Hmm. Is there one back here somewhere? Hmm. Can't destroy the coffins. Can destroy those, but that's it. Oh. Well, I found the button, finally. It was right next to this button. Well, go figure. Wow, that would have been nice to know a long time ago. I've been running back and forth trying to figure out where that thing was. And it was in plain sight the whole time. I guess if you can call that plain. I mean, you had to look down and it I guess it looked oddly different from the rest of it. I didn't think so. Um, you don't hear any of that. The hell? What was that noise? Oh, I feel this is going to be a bad part. Oh, that's locked. Can't go in there. It might have, um... Been our other friend that was probably dead. Oh, she's a new character. Bendy in with Alice Angel? Huh. Didn't know there was any other characters besides him. Boris. Um. I guess it's not gonna play anything.
Well, a lot of people do. So I think that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to turn that projection on and hurry down there. But I need to know the way there, though. Before I start running somewhere where I have no idea where it is. it easily no it's past that gate though I think no it's in that locked door does the door unlock once I start running I would hope so we got another one at least let's listen Joey installs this ink machine over our heads and then it begins to leak three times last month we couldn't even get out of our department because the ink had flooded the stairwell Joey's solution an ink pump to drain it periodically now I have this ugly pump switch right in my office. People in and out all day. Thanks, Joey. Just what I needed. More distractions. These stupid cartoon songs don't write themselves, you know? Mm-hmm. That they don't. A switch it's right like in the guy's the office. If I'm gonna get out of here, I need to find a way to drain it. So, yep, that's the exit. Oh, I turned on the lights. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's quite a few of them. Hello. Nope. Nope. And... No. Oh, he disappeared. Get out of here. The fuck is this shit? Ink blobs, huh? Ow. Jerk. Oh. Well, I survived. Somehow. <laughs> I didn't even expect that. It just came out of nowhere. It's a good thing I have this axe. Oh. What's this? Eee, don't, don't touch that. Don't do that again. Um. What do we got? Infirmary. What do we got here? Two desks with nothing much in it. <coughs> hmm. Can I walk on that? Man. I was going to get my dustpan from the hall closet the other day, and guess what? I can't find my stupid key. It's like they disappeared in the thin air or something. All I can think of is that they must have fallen in one of the garbage cans that I was making my rounds last week. I just hope nobody tells Sammy. Because if he finds out I lost my keys again, I'm out of here. Hmm. So dude's missing his keys, huh? I see. So that's our next objective. The switch, all right. Oh. That's one hell of a leak blocking the door, though. If I could just stop that ink from flowing, maybe I can get in. It's time to believe. Okay. Apparently I can't open the door because of an ink leak. What? I don't get how that works. Thank you. More bacon soup. But there was an ink block block in the exit. So how am I supposed to get the pump? Can I smash this? No. Of course not. Um, I might need music for that. But I need to get into this room. That's what I need. Oh. Never mind, I can. Alright. So, we turn on the projector. We quickly run down here. And that seems to be what we have to do next. I guess that door will open. So, let's go ahead and go back to the recording room. Or the, uh, projector room, I guess. And turn that on and try and make a beeline, which I'm sure I might get attacked if I try this. So. When did they get down there? They were not down there when I went into that door. Huh. Nobody? Hmm. See, they're not here. Weird. 
Um, what am I supposed to be doing? Oh, hey guys. You guys are supposed to be down here, not up there. Huh. I must be missing something. Hmm. Said he turned on the projector, made a beeline for this room, but then what? But it's like they come, uh, they go up there, come down here when I go up there. Maybe I'm supposed to play whatever they're standing in front of? Hmm. We could try that to see if it works. Hmm. Because there's a guitar in front of that guy, but those two. I don't remember that second guy. That second guy in the back row is definitely new. Yep. So now there's three of them up there. I guess I just have to keep doing this. Until I guess that whole room is full. Okay, well, all chairs should be filled now. There we go. Hey guys. Now what do I do? I mean, they're all there now. So I guess I just run back and hopefully that'll work. I'm not sure. All chairs are filled. Unless you're missing the conductor, too. That might be what's going on. Yeah, I think you might be missing the conductor. So I might need one more run. Because all chairs are filled, but you are missing that whole conductor for the whole thing, so maybe this should do it. No? All chairs are still filled. Everything's okay. Now what do I do? Ah. Alright, well, I found his keys for the closet, so we're going to skip the uh, recording thing for now. I think I have to do other stuff before that. But let's go deal with the closet thing first. Then we'll come back. So I'm not exactly sure what I am missing for that thing. But I'm missing something. Yeah, another recording. Every artistic person needs a sanctuary. Joey Drew has his, and I've got mine. To enter, you need only know my favorite song. The piano delicately calls. The banjo playfully plucks. The bass fiddle sings with deep articulation. The violin shudders with a piercing voice. Sing my song, and my sanctuary will open to you. There you go. Piano, banjo, bass, violin. That's what I have to do. Probably while it's recording? I'm not sure, so... Get out of here. Well, he killed me like... <laughs> well, they didn't technically kill me. Jeez, they're coming from everywhere. Let's get in the room. I know there's something right. I've got to do in here, but I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, I probably have to turn on the projector first. So it's the piano, the bass. No. Piano, banjo, piano, bass, banjo, violin. like that and you run here and you quickly run over to this one so we'll see that should be it so let's start the recording and find out what we've got but yeah grab after grabbing the keys then I got attacked some more so yeah that makes sense okay but I wasn't expecting one to hit me in the back like that. Alright, so piano first. Then the banjo. The bass. And the violin. 
Got it. There we go. Sweet. So now I can turn off the flow. Okay, that should do it. Alright. Oh, hey, Bendy. Come back, man. Are you all out here yet? No, but there's ink blobs. And you know what that means. Yeah, there's quite a few of them, too. Nope. Nope. Oh, come on. Well, apparently they can go through the wall, too. Either that, or hopefully they're just hitting the wall. Funk. Ooh, yeah, there's quite a few of them. Bendy, why you gotta do this to me? Funk. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Oop. Oh, no. Missed. Ugh. There we go. Oh, he just fell and died. Bunk. There's one in that room, too. And that's if I would have walked into the room, he would have attacked me from behind. I'm out of here. All right. Well, that was, um, interesting. So... Oh, there we are. Doors open. Pump control is on. Now we get to take the stairs. What's this? Coast to coast. <laughs> <laughs> Tree music. Alright, let's go. Am I going to face any more by the time I get down there? Those stairs, I think, were pretty far. If I can remember where they were. Ow! Somebody hit me on the back of the head again. No thanks. Why does he got to keep hitting me in the back of the head? There we go now, nice and tight. We wouldn't want our sheep roaming away now, would we? Hmm. No, we wouldn't. I must admit, I am honored you came all the way down here to visit me. It almost makes what I'm about to do seem cruel. And but what the are believers you? must honor their savior. I must have him notice me. <laughs> Does Bendy need to notice you? You look familiar to me. That face. Not now, for our Lord is calling to us, my little sheep. The time of sacrifice is at hand. And then I will finally be freed from this prison. This inky, dark abyss I call a body. Shh. Quiet. Listen. I can hear him crawling above, crawling. Is that that Let candy monster? The ritual must be completed. Soon he will hear me. He will set us free. The fuck? Um, come back, man. Come, come back. Where, where are you going? Oh, this doesn't seem good. No thanks. Oh boy. The fuck? <laughs> Not anymore, you ain't. Sucks for you, man. Go, 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 get out of there, go, run, run, run. That dude burn you. Yeah. There we go. Go, go, go. Destroy all the boards. Come on, come on. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh boy. He's crawling above me. Well, so much for that prophet guy. Oh, my axe broke. Oh, hey, Bendy. Well, no, duh. Run away where? 
Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, hurry up and get in there. Get in there. Go, 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 go. Whew. See ya, Bendy. Well. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, just go away. He's scratching the door. Okay, then. Well, that was, um, interesting. So we found out who bonked us in the back of the head. Hello? Oh, no. There's someone there? I know you're in here. Come out and show yourself. Please don't. Oh, Boris. Was Boris. that that ink guy? What the... Well, the mystery is still a mystery. I don't get it. Well, so Boris was dead. Was that black ink monster Boris? And then he just came back alive? Because he did have the same coveralls. Or overalls, I guess. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. So if Boris is real, Bendy's real. Alice must be real, too. Well. We found some maze to attack this time, though. That was interesting. They didn't do much, besides just kind of just sloppily crouch at you the whole time. I mean, they didn't have legs, so... <laughs> they just had to crawl their way. But, very interesting. Can't wait for the third chapter, whenever that comes out. I have no idea. It hasn't said yet. Fan art contest winners, huh? Bendy train trouble. Oh yeah, I see Poppy May. <laughs> it's the one I kept passing in chapter two. Ooh, that's quite a bit of Patreon supporters there. I am very excited to see chapter three now to see what's uh what Boris has to say. Maybe he'll help us through all of this. I hope. I was kind of expecting Alice to be the person that walked out, but I guess not. Bendy will return. Oh, I bet he will. Almost made it out of the door until I had to run the other way, because freaking Bendy popped out right in front of me. Bendy, man, oh man. What a little evil ink creation he is. Alright. Well, oh, I guess it wasn't Boris then. But who was he? Huh, I have no idea. But that will do it for this one, so we just have to wait for chapter three whenever that comes out, and I'll definitely play that one too. This game's actually not that bad. It got me a little bit of a scare not <laughs> knowing that just stuff jumped out at me. Wasn't expecting it. But searching for things, that's that's kind of where it gets a little hard. Because sometimes it's hard to find those things. Even if they are in the easiest locations. But that'll do it for this one. So thank you for joining me for this adventure. I'll see you guys for the next adventure. Bye.